Hello and welcome to some more Stars Listen. The latest 3.8.0 N PTU patch is now out and the PTU is open to all backers with a game package. I wanted to talk about that, the patch notes, and show a little Easter egg off on Microtech as well today and talk a little bit about what we might see in 3.8 in the coming days. This patch has been extremely stable for me and uh, the AI has, seems to have been significantly better and missions more accessible. Yeah, combat's pretty good as well at the moment for me at least. I'm flying down to a landmark building in Microtech and we're going to go underneath it for the Easter egg. So that's where I'm traveling to from Port Tresla. While I'm traveling there, let's talk about a few of the new things in 3.8, some of its new features. They have added a look ahead option that pulls the head towards the cursor. If it is visible, it is now disabled by default. Um, audio Audio mixing and polish pass for all mining lasers has been made. They further audio polished the melee combat stuff. They've tweaked double vision effects for unarmed combat and getting stunned by being punched. Uh, they've reworked weapon reload sounds to better line up with animation changes and they've smoothed out target offset movement for third person cameras. I've just realized that um, when you're coming down into planets, the planetary v4 tech it makes the terrain not really pop in and out, but assets still pop in and out at the moment. And that could be because they're not fully finished or they don't have all the lots levels of details sorted. But you notice this a lot when you're moving down to a city like Microtech. You see the sort of like pop, popping in of buildings, but you don't see the popping in of terrain. And conversely, actually, when you get close to the ground, you might see the popping in of like boulders and rocks and stuff, but not the actual geometry terrain. Um, which is an interesting thing. So hopefully they'll be able to sort that out. I think it sort of like fades in uh, as well with rocks and trees and stuff, but hopefully they'll get to a point where they can have it as part of the level of detail so that it doesn't look uh, like it's popping in or fading in. It just sort of like looks really natural. Uh, but the, the general terrain looks absolutely amazing now. Uh, bug fixes for this current PTU patch. Players should now more readily be able to get off toilets. Multi-tool scanned mineables should no longer remain on the player's HUD when the multi-tool is stowed. Players should no longer be able to cause their character to become invisible when setting options in the character customizer. Weapons should no longer be dropped when swapping between one another. Mineable asteroids should now spawn around ARC L4 and ARC L5, the asteroid clusters there. NPCs at stations should no longer perform. Use animations such as lean or seat against no props and appear to be floating in the environments. Ships should no longer have incorrect interior shadows and or lights bleeding through when they should not. They have disabled bed logouts in ships that are in other ships because that was causing crashes. The player should no longer clip through the ship art when exiting the top bunk bed on the Reliant. They fixed a door that wouldn't open during the Kovalex investigation mission. Ships in the hangars at Levski should now correctly appear on the commodity kiosk under cell. Ships containing cargo should no longer show up as having zero SCU. They fixed tech strings for delivery missions going to new locations. Cacti on planetary services should now have collision. And they fixed three server crashes and five client crashes. There are still some known problems CIG are working through though. Uh, Constantine Hurston is currently missing. Paying a fine at a kiosk may not be registered properly and not remove the player's crime stat associated with it. Once a magazine is emptied for the Animus missile launcher, the player can no longer equip fresh magazines. The mission marker for black box recovery missions does not update when arriving at orbital mission locations. Multi-tool scanned mineables remain on the player's HUD when the multi-tool is stowed. If the quantum travel marker is at the edge of a moon or planet, then you can sometimes hit the moon or planet. Carryable mission items can fall through the floor. The Sentinel is incorrectly labeled as the Harbinger. Purchase commodities will often not appear in the ship's hold. Carryable boxes may fall through the floor as well. Players may experience stores and performance shortly after loading into Star Marine. And AR markers can sometimes be seen through walls in Star Marine. NPC beacon notifications will sometimes display incorrect distance. And AI ship markers can often get stuck in the middle of their motion and will not advance further. The Argo Mole is being flown around by devs at the moment and we should see it more readily later today. I would expect it will start to go on sale later today as well. I think the um, Inside Star Citizen is going to have a bit of a focus on it. Now that we are under that landmark building in Microtech, and um, we can just follow the sort of track to get underneath there. You want to take a small ship unless you want to land further away, uh, but you can fly it all the way in there, and then you'll see this sort of like warming, welcoming light, and it's a little nativity, um, little scene uh, set up, and I think it's pretty cool. It's got a load of Christmas flair here, a load of assets for, that CIG have previously released, or flair that they've released that you can have in your hangar, and some extremely 
derpy snowmen or people. Now, uh, I didn't find this. Someone sent this to me on my Discord, and I think there's some videos associated with it as well, so good job whoever found that originally. There's even a tubby little board game of snowmen. It's cool, pun the pun. I like these little Easter eggs, and I do hope we have more in the future. We have, like, Benny's Henge at the moment, uh, Demon Bear, uh, this Christmas scene, and a few others already, but I hope that we get some more. Also, actually, this is worth talking about. Uh, some missions have had their difficulty tweaked. So, for example, the jump, the claim jump missions, I've been doing them solo previous to today. Yeah, with a Super Hornet, but I got annihilated when I tried that earlier. So I'll leave you with some of the highlights and outtakes of that so you can see the mission scaling and my confidence of, oh, let me just change some shields on my Super Hornet. Go with, oh my God, I'm dead. I am in the 3.8.0... N PTU. Thank you. I'm I'm glad to be back. Uh, random shopkeeper woman. Got a lot of variety. Cool. I will. So I'm in D Dumpers Depot. What I'm going to be doing is I want to run a uh, claim jumper mission. Uh, one of the lawful ones, and I'm going to be running it in a Super Hornet. It is a mission that is sort of like recommended that you do with other people. But I'm just going to see if I can run it solo. It can be. Um... So basically, you're taking out turrets, which are uh, turrets that can three shot you um, if you're not uh, not careful. Three shot in a um, super hornet. Um, so I'm going to get some better um, shields for my super hornets. Uh, also, the prospectors there that are effectively enemy prospectors, they will start to swarm you like angry little hornets or swarmy things. Ants. Swarming ants. Or uh, do hornets swarm? I'm not sure. Uh, but we're going to upgrade our Super Hornet. We are now in an asteroid field, and I am blinded by the sun. And we are going to jump to our mission location, this mining claim. And then I'm going to act... Well, let me just make sure my guns fire. Yeah, perfect. Then I'm going to act all squirrely like like a squirrel. That annoying reflection the front of my uh, cockpit. How annoying is that? That's something I need to fix. How weird. Like a repeated reflection texture that's gone wrong. I will report that. Probably would have been reported a thousand times. I will uh, add to it. So they are working on better procedure generation for asteroids, asteroid fields, and the like smoke um, and sort of uh, gas clouds in them. Um, obviously, points of interest like that are incredibly important to the game. So I am going to take out most of the ships here um, because uh, they will be dangerous if I do not. So, some of these are turrets. They're orbital sentries. Uh, and some of them are uh, prospectors. We've got turrets. Oh. This might be more dangerous than I originally had intended. Uh, right. Let us take out, firstly... As we can see, more dangerous than I had originally expected. I had been soloing them in uh, that earlier patch. But they've given the turrets longer range. Uh, uh, you require a ship that can tank some shields, so a larger ship. And um, fighters probably will not, uh, not do it particularly well anymore, in my opinion. Unless you've got very, very long range weapons. Uh, okay. 
That's good to know. We do have a ship giveaway each month for December. It's for a Carrack, the Mighty Explorer. You just have to comment on one of my videos during the month to be in for a chance of winning that. More details below. Also, if you're looking for a VPN or password manager, Nord have you covered. Shadow as well, they're an amazing way of having a gaming PC, sort of like super high spec, without the giant costs associated with that. You can have it as a subscription service and leverage the power of your internet to stream a gaming PC to, to you. Oh, bam. With any of those, use the code BoardGamer to get a discount or follow the links below.